Hi, I'm Raul Diaz and this is Wine Train. Today, how to taste wine. We have four steps to make a wine tasting technique like a professional. We have the look, the nose, the palate and the conclusions. The look. The colouring wine will give us lots of information. Angle your glass over a white background and then check the colour, the intensity and the rim of the glass. You will be able to get more information that is linked to the grape variety and the production of the wine. We have many different types of looks. For white wines, we have pale, very clear white wine that most of the times will be young and not aged in oak, mostly from cool climate regions. Lemon, a little bit more color, green notes, for example, like Sauvignon Blanc. Gold, deeper golden color due to the oak aging warm climate wines. For red wine it would be pale garnet, pale reds with little color, for example Pinot Noir and Gamay. Ruby red, richer color, more fruits, more character and more acidity like Sangiovese or Tempranillo grapes. And finally purple, lots of flavors but less acidity like Malbec and Syrah. After that you should swirl your glass to check the legs of the tears. If you have lots of legs, lots of tears that are going down very slowly, you will have a rich wine with high alcohol content and great amount of fruits. Second step, the smell, the nose. Hold your glass, get your nose inside of the glass and try to catch some aromas. We have three types of aromas. Core aromas, they come from the grapes, and depends on the climate and how long the wine was aged. For example, citrus, floral, red or black fruits, also herbal aromas. Secondary aromas, they come from winemaking, yeast, butter and creamy notes, for example. And lastly, aging aromas, nutty aromas that we can identify in champagne and sherry. Sometimes you have wine faults, some aromas are not that pleasant, they're not correct, but actually it's okay. You have mainly two. When the wine is corked, you can smell wet cardboard and very musty aromas, or when the wine is oxidized, the wine will smell flat or like an apple cider. Third step, the palate. Now it's time to taste your wine. Get a sip and try to get some of the flavors. The easiest way to start, we try to identify the fruits and then move to the other aromas. We have five key elements. First, sweetness. It's in the front of your tongue. Second, acidity. It's a mouth-watering sensation in your mouth. Three, alcohol. Feels really warm in your throat. And then tannins. Dries out your gums like a used tea bag. After you taste your wine, you will be able to identify the body, the fifth element, which is a combination of all the previous ones. You will have light, medium or full body wines. Last step, conclusions. Now you have your own conclusion of the wine. Can be horrible, can be poor, can be good, can be very good or can be outstanding. Now you're ready to write your first tasting notes. This is a light body white wine that has a refreshing acidity with citrus fruits like lime and lemon and a very pleasant finish. This is Wine Training. Like our videos, subscribe to your channel and send us any of your ideas so we can make a video out of it. See you around.